Hi guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Thursday the 11th of June. I'm using the Goddess Tarot. Let's look at these cards and what they have to say. We have the Knave of Chalices. Kind of looks like temperance as well. It's about finding that balance. Then we have the Seven of Wands. And Seven of Chalices. Okay, interesting. We have the Knave of Chalices, which is like the Page of Cups. It's a court card. And it's about learning to mature emotionally, understanding what makes you happy, expressing who you love. And we had the Knight of Cups yesterday as well. So this is a period where you can really learn some emotional truths about yourself and how you are in connection to other people. You may feel a certain way about yourself on the inside, but then when it comes to expressing that when you're around other people you feel like oh wow this whole i'm missing this whole gap where i'm not articulating what i feel and that's why other people can't engage so rather than wow this is a really great day to let go of shame and to discover something you love about yourself and you'll start to realize today that when you're in communication or in connection or if you're around other people by talking to those people you'll see what it is that you're missing so to speak the thing that you want that'll make you happy and you'll see that when you're around other people so it's really important to be around other people and not to isolate yourself and we're literally in isolation the coronavirus lockdown so that makes things a little bit harder. Connect with people by social distancing and getting together with them or by using an online software to speak to people or by yeah, having a couple of people and I don't know if you can, yeah, if you can't really do much. You can um yeah, talk about something you like or if you're in a family unit you know, really, rather than blaming someone immediately, you'll notice that you have that space within yourself. You're like, okay, I have a part to play in this as well. So it's great for personal insight, but mainly to let go of something that you think is ingrained and negative, and you're able to let that, that go, learn about it, replace it with something that you're passionate about, and make your life better. The Seven of Wands, we've got aggression here. This woman is protecting the igloo from this guy who's trying to, I don't know what he's trying to do, attack her or invade or come near her, doesn't want that. So the seven of wands is conflict, it's fire, violence, aggression, and it's protecting what you care about. It's protecting your home, it's protecting the thing that makes you happy, the thing that's nearest and dearest. So you may be overly aggressive, we've got this red sash there, and you may take it to the extreme. So if you do get aggressive when talking to other people, you'll notice that that is what you bring to the table, as an example. Major aggression or paranoia, being defensive. And you'll, the initial thing when we see something about ourselves that we don't like isn't to say, oh, how wonderful, I'm a complete nightmare, hooray. No, we don't say that. We try and cover it up and we're ashamed of ourselves. And it's like, oh, no. And then... um try and work through it but you don't have to be ashamed of yourself you were made the way you are for a reason and no matter how faulty you think you are you aren't the universe had a very precise and exact picture in mind when it made you and you are a divine being that never made sense to me but think about how much value we give on planet Earth to a, a wristwatch. Let's say a Breitling wristwatch. Thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds. Think about fancy cars or a Gucci handbag. People pay 2000 5000 easily just for 
having that um, amazing label which lends a lot of which gives a lot of clout so obviously you're associated with celebrity with wealth with a certain type of lifestyle that's why the bag comes with such a heavy price tag so what we don't do very well in society is we we fail to add value to a human life human beings are divine beings and every human being is divine you're invaluable you're amazing and I only get that the longer I'm alive. I just really realize how each person is this amazing spiritual pod walking around, connecting with other spiritual hubs. And it's like one of those arcade ping pong machines. We just bounce off each other and learn how, how divine we are with each divine encounter. So we've got Odin and Mercury and whoever they are. Gods in some sort of pantheon, whether it's Nordic or Roman, whatever. The more you connect with other people, whether it is conflict or whether it's passion or whether it's reconciliation that's difficult, don't judge it. Go through it and see what it shows you about what fires you up, what makes you feel passionate. Finally, we have the seven of chalices. And here we've got, she looks very much like Kali. Uh, she looks like a death goddess. And the seven of cups, the water is kind of shooting out. So there's an abundance of emotion and it's about letting go of one thing so that something can be replaced. And that's very, or letting go of something so that there's space to fill that space with something else that's more positive. Cups is love, your feelings, what it is you desire, the death goddess there what has to go before you can give life to something else. And the thing that's going is your shame. I got that when I looked at this card. I think it's a exit day for shame and feelings of worthlessness and, oh, I should, I should just hang my head and cry because I'm just so disgraceful as a person. I've, I've always struggled with shame ever since I was really little. Um, it can be little things like going to the store and just feeling like, oh my God, I behaved so poorly there and no one else would behave this poorly and I'm just worthless and I can't even go grocery shopping. Just because of, um, I don't know, remarking on something at the counter that's really quite benign or, you know, running into another customer and, and having unpleasant and an unpleasant exchange it's just an unpleasant exchange don't give it too much don't label it immediately and say i'm in the wrong here and it's because i'm so angry and uh, there's something wrong with me that i lash out so anything that fires you up and that you notice when you connect with other people look at that if it's problematic or what is problematic if there isn't anything problematic, great, because then you don't have to transform it. If there isn't anything problematic, look at what really makes you feel alive today, what gives you a sense of fun. And then you can let go of something that's dull and that no longer serves you. And you can create more balance and bring more balance into your life by doing things that consistently thrill you rather than you get really, really into it one month, one day a month, and that's it. And then you have to wait till next month. This is a more gradual, consistent burning every day. So it's an opportunity to bring more fun and joy into your life. What I'm being told before I finish the reading is that there's a shroud in place and it may make you look at situations differently than you usually would. So a group of people that under usual circumstances you wouldn't want anything to do with, suddenly they seem okay today. A situation where you're level-headed and where you keep your cool suddenly you just see red and you have a go at someone again don't be mortified and label yourself just look at it for what it is or you may feel really really grateful and excessively humbled by something in your life to the point of feeling shame or you may 
be in a really bad mood and you're just angry at everybody and you're just full of resentment, let that out and see what that is about really. Because resentment ultimately is about fear. So if you're lashing out, what is it that you're afraid other people will take from you? Spiritually, nothing can be taken from you. It's like, it's interesting that we have fire and water in both of these, well, both of these cards, but we have more water here. Fire and water don't work very well together. Heat up the water, that igloo is gone, or, and the water evaporates. And throw a bunch of water on a fire, no more fire. So it's about maintaining a nice sizzle. And being active, passionate. And maintaining a nice balance. I really don't see huge new beginnings, um, really swerving kind of from the point or what you usually do. You don't have to really go out of your way and change your schedule very much. It's a very subtle emotional thing that you get through pinging off other people. So make sure you're not alone today. Seven and seven, good luck is 14. One and four and another one um, because this is a court card is six. Six is about a temporary opportunity that appears to you. And it comes in via other people, via another person who may or may not seem friendly. And regardless of whether that person is or isn't friendly, you're going to learn something from this lesson. Whether it's you're so fabulous, you can never do any wrong, or you blow up at the slightest thing and you need the person you're harming is yourself, really. Or you find that you just don't care and you've been in mourning and now you're able to drop that shroud and let go, come to terms and accept and experience a rebirth where you are now balancing a huge emotional thing, grief for instance, with this lust for life and this desire to create. And again, you create a sizzle rather than a huge evaporation or a fire just being put out. So it's going from the extremes and learning how to deal with those and going to a more balanced, even emotional state. So I hope you have a great day. If you'd like a personal reading with me, please get in touch by the website, gregoryscott.com. If you like the video, hit subscribe and share the video online. Have a lovely day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.